Okay, people, so... Nana and I... We have a chicken in there. It's called a rotisserie. A rotisserie. Mm-hmm. The machine? The machine's a rotisserie. Electron yeah. Yeah. Electric... R r r Core machine. R electric rotisserie. Yeah. And the timer's already on. Right here. Mm-hmm. It's halfway done. It's on 20 right now. Mm-hmm. And we're cooking what? Chicken. Mm-hmm. And then now it's going to make meatloaf after. Mm -hmm. Maybe boil some potatoes. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Are you paying attention? Yeah. All right. And that's it. Bye. Okay, people. So now it's going to put in the thermometer. And that's this. It's going to tell us how, big, how long it's been cooking there. Look at how juicy that looks. It looks very juicy. Oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. That looks so, so good. Yeah. Oh. I'm also going for the chicken leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's also some rice there, uh -huh. corn, uh -huh. pumpkin. meatloaf in the oven, and corn. I meant, and pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, turn it off now. Bye. Okay. Okay, so today is, what is it? Boxing Day, December 26, 2020. Mm -hmm. Look what I'm doing. We're finishing up with this mattress and we're getting it up today. My mattress. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I've been doing other things. Like you know, canning. Well, no, I haven't been canning. Like cooking? Cooking, yeah. I've been doing a lot of cooking. Yeah, we had steak yesterday. Andre says, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's I don't so normally good. buy steak. Uh, ribeye steak, but I, I bought one. But it was very expensive, I bet. It was expensive. That's why I don't buy them. But that one I bought, and we had that yesterday. and Last night. Yeah, Andre really noticed the difference in terms of beef, right? So, so anyway, I'm doing just sorting out stuff, dusting, I'm washing a lot of this dust from these trucks front and back. All right? I'm just Moving too much. around, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, beep, beep, beep all day long. Spewing up dust. God. Lots of dump trucks with, you know, dump truck after dump truck after dump truck after dump truck full of freaking dirt going through the front, still parking in the front of my house. You know, or or like rocks. Five dump trucks later full of freaking, yeah, either with rocks or sand or dirt for down there because they're building a high rise. Uh, so I would suspect all year, 21, 2021, down the, over by the ravine over there, it's just going to be nothing but dump truck after dump truck after dump truck. It's already been going on for what a year and a half now. I think so. Yeah, I know it's pathetic. Yeah. So needless to say, I'm climbing and wiping and washing, and plus I'm moving things around because I'm you know I'm going through computers. I'm I'm revamp revamping my computers so I can. Uh, try and get on to working on the website with the mm -hmm. HTML stuff. Mm -hmm. Looking looking for a video player through a um, video player. What is it called? Um, shared you know, you it's free, right? Through shared um, shared YouTube? No. It's a shared source code. Right? So so of course, you know, that's reading Right, looking at scripts, that kind of stuff. As my eyes go bling 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 bling. <laughs> right? Reading, reading, and reading. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. And this mattress is so comfortable. Oh yeah, well we're getting up this mattress today. Obviously this video is going on the peeps fashion because it's relating to sewing, right? And uh, you know, I've got people asking me if I'm okay. <laughs> Because I haven't been putting up any YouTube videos, right, people? Like canny ones. Any kind of video on my main channel. I had to do a video on BitChute, right? I did do a video. I put it up on BitChute. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have put it up on YouTube, but... So YouTube's taking down your videos. They're trying to control the narrative, you know? They don't have the right okay. to control the narrative, right? You know? So, I'm really reluctant to do any kind of videos, really, right? Because I'm not YouTube's bitch, okay? They, they want me to be their puppet, you know, some, some, some 
puppet on a wood puppet on a string, right? That's what they want, right? Um, and then when they're done using that puppet, what are they going to do? They just chuck it off to the side, right? They don't care. Really. Going like doink, doink, yeah. So, so this is just a touch base video, I guess. Uh, yeah, and Mari's there with his rattle. With his rattle, right? It's on video. The rattle. You on video with your rattle, Amari? Making music already? Yeah. <laughs> See, we have our little poo parties, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, he's copacetic with his seat there. It works really well for him. I, I've expressed that in the past, right? He doesn't mind sitting there for the most part. Some days it goes fast, some days not so fast. Some days it takes a couple days off and on, off and on, off and on. Yeah, and I'm in here with the poop party too. Yeah. Yeah, if Tisha's around with a little AMA, everybody's in here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Although Amari will sit quiet on his own, right? Yeah. Um, like say washing the bathroom or something or just over there. He'll he he will he'll be good. Just mind. You know those two times he pooped quietly, fast. Yeah, very fast, very quiet. I came in and he had a big grin on his face, looking up at me, smiling like, ha ha, Nana. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She also had the big one, the big wall one. Yeah. Sometimes I think, um... Constipated? No. Sometimes I think, uh, people that, uh are involved with Amari's life in terms of support workers, right? When I tell them that I put them on the toilet, right? I don't, I don't know if they necessarily are as gung-ho about it as I am. I'm, tr I'm trying to be very selective with my words here. Yeah. Because for some people, right, it's easier for them just to leave him in a diaper all day long and let him go in there. Yeah. Or if he can't. Yeah. Kind of like what they do with the elderly and once they get into these yeah. care facilities, right? They don't bother to take them to the toilet even though they want to go. Because you have to help them, right? You have to kind of lift them up and, you know. Or if they're constipated, they don't do Or it. whatever. You know, the point is that you have to, you have to help them. You have to. You know, depending on their Put mobility, them on the right? every day if they need like to Uncle John them. needed help, right? You know, when he was in that temporary care ward, none of those workers were taking him to the toilet. They just left him in a diaper, right? And then there was an old lady in there that was asking my kids to help her go to the toilet because those workers in those care facilities they don't uh, they don't help the the elderly. That's what she said. Everybody, Uncle John too, said everybody in those places, they're all sitting in diapers. That's it. That's that's the, how that she might have to sit in the diaper. Right? So when I say, you know, Amari's doing really good, he's on the toilet. Right now. You know, and I'm so proud of him. I don't necessarily get the response that... And sometimes it comes, the poo comes off fast. No, I'm talking about something else here, Andre. I don't necessarily get the response that I want to hear in terms of, oh, wow, that's great. You know, you're doing a good job and, you know, and this is the best, you know, blah. It's more like, oh, really? Mm, okay. You know, it's not like, and, and the only thing I can contribute it to is that, you know, it goes back to that easier to just leave them in a diaper and let them try and do it that way versus put them in a situation like this where gravity helps with the whole process, right? It's just, you have to pick them up and lift them and position them. And then sometimes you have to go in and reposition, right? Because, you know, he moves and he slides or whatever. And then when he's done, you have to literally pick him up and carry him back to wherever, like to the bed, right? To change, you know, to clean him and, and redress them right you know where a lot of people they just don't want to do that because it's an inconvenience right but thing is you know this works better for him right he has better uh, bowel movements because and also comes out bigger that's what i mean he has better bowel movements right 
and uh, with less stress, right? So, you know, that's another thing we need to be thinking about when we think of the elderly. You know, they're not, they're not necessarily always being looked after properly because, again, they prefer just to keep them in the diaper thinking somehow that's easier on the worker, not easier for the elderly because it's humiliating for them, right? You know what I mean? But it's easier for the worker. So, you know, I worry about the future in terms of when and I'm gone. And also you worry about my future. All the time, right? Because I don't want him having to be just having him lose this opportunity. So I tell Andre You as have he, to take care after Amari. Yeah, when he gets bigger he'll be stronger. Uh, Andre yeah. his dad was six one, no mind you, or six two or something like that. He had a very high, tall dad, right? Yeah. His mom though, Sierra was, was short. Was very short, but I would think that Andre's gonna be very tall. Like my dad. It probably like your dad, yeah. And you're going to get much, much more stronger. So he's going to be able to help pick up because you literally have to pick him up. And, and I'll help lift him, right? And also I need to help carry him around the house. Just teamwork. You teamwork. Know? That's right. Teamwork. And that's the way we're going to do it. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm training him for when he's older. And he already is clued in because like I said I know I if he said does yes. something yeah right, I come he looks at me he grins <laughs> he chuckles Who? Amari oh. after he's done his duties he knows exactly what he's done right don't forget what Every, one time he made me messy he just starts smiling he like yeah, <laughs> yeah. what's going on here are you uncomfortable here, let me fix you up. Come on. Yeah. I have Mickey to guard a cow with me right now. Yeah. I need a flashlight. Right there. What? And then we look for the prize. <laughs> nothing in there. Mickey to guard cat. Nothing. 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 Mickey, you look like a chubby. Nothing yet. No? No? Nothing yet. No. There you go. You're fine. Mickey looks like a chubby. You're fine. See now? Hmm? Mickey's in here too. Join the Mickey, party. Mickey the gardener cat. Always in the video. Always in the video. You wanna get in there? <laughs> Here, meow. It's like she knows. Maybe she knows she's gonna be a movie star someday. Yeah. Yeah. You think you're gonna be a movie star, you're Mickey? Make music, Amari. Come on, make some music. Right. Okay, well, all the beds are full now. I'm gonna be bringing up his wheelchair here soon. As soon as I get this out of here, and then. Uh, but your guy named Mark can to help you put this up. No, we'll put this up today. No, like pick I it can, up. No, we can pick this up. That's not heavy. Okay. That's not heavy. He has to bring up the wheelchair, though. Right. And then we'll see what happens with that. Okay, you're, you're making... Look what you're doing. You're, get off it. You're pulling this, okay? Uh, it's sliding. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, yeah, don't do I'm that. I'm done my playroom now. I don't know There's about that. There's only garbage now. I'm going to get it back and bring out the garbage. Okay, you do that. So, as you can see, I'm not doing anything fancy. You're just doing right. a mattress. Yeah, anything controversial right now at this point, it's going on bit shoot, right? I think I only did one extra video so far, right? Obviously, we know what it's about, right? 19 deaths in one day. In one day, people, even though it was a pre recorded live stream that was done six to who knows how many days in the past, right? That's why I'm not doing too many videos on YouTube. Well, no, I haven't done any videos on YouTube with my main channel because I don't appreciate being silenced on that. Right? You know, that, that in itself is 
a form of extortion when you can't talk about real shit, right? And then you get jeopardized with losing your channel or whatever it is. Fined, penalized, you know, right? Ostracized, punished, you know. What gives them the right to punish me for expressing my truth? They don't have a right to do that. YouTube, that is. Right? Especially when they promote Satism, in my opinion. Right? But anyway, I don't want to get into that. Okay? That's why I haven't been doing videos because it's on my mind every day. Okay, I'm done. Okay, okay. I'm talking, so go away. Let me just finish since I'm doing this. Okay? I mean, I am sewing, so I'm going to put this up on the peeps fashion. Okay. All right? But basically, okay, well, I'll stay in the Andre. Room, then, okay? What? I'll stay in the way room then, okay? Plus yeah, the after time. after I'm done with Amari, he, I told you, he's getting a bath. I'm going to go get his chair ready. I'm going to give okay. him a bath. And then he can go in the living room, and then I'm going to vacuum in here. Oh, yeah, my playroom just needs to be vacuumed. Yeah, well, we'll one 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 thing at a time here, okay? Okay. Nana, well, well, just what do you know, because I can't pick up all the well Yeah, stuff. I know that. We're not doing that today. We're working on this today. Okay. Okay, okay. get this done today. So I'm going to get this up on his on, on his bed and... But, uh, when I'm ready to move him, he's going straight to the bathtub, right? And then I'm going to cream him down. <sighs> and then he's going in the living room. And then I'm going to come back in here and vacuum, get up there and take everything off and get this up there. And I guess I'll show you. When I'm up there, what I'm doing, right? Maybe, maybe not. Not, not that it's interesting, but whatever. And then after that, I got this Windows Seven that I bought for a hundred bucks off of Facebook Market. Plus, I've got an XP computer coming in the mail, right? And I still may get a different computer yet because. I am getting back into web page making and uh, books for the nonprofit and just stuff like that. And I wanted, before my XP blew its power supply in here, because I just had it checked to find out what was wrong with it, turns out the power supply went on it. But the guy who checked it for me might be able to come across another one. Right, because every now and then he comes across them. And if he does, I told him I want it fixed. Either or, I'll be setting up a computer in here, not sure which one yet. Because I used to have one in here, right? To uh, work on videos, non-profit stuff, that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously they don't go, nothing, there's no, compu no like, uh, internet in this room. Right, so, I can, uh play catch up with uh, non-profit stuff. That's what I'm hoping. See if I can bring in a um, a video player and upload my videos onto my website. And just uh, some of them anyway, not all of them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, people. I don't have a clue. I'm just doing that's all I'm doing. So I'm so I'm okay. I'm tired, obviously. Anybody would be tired in my position. Okay. I'm having to start all over again with basically no real help. Right? In old age with ringing in the ear, eye pressure, that kind of stuff. Uh, working twice as hard. Not getting anywhere in life. But I just keep plugging along. So yeah, I don't, I don't really have no interest right now doing um, YouTube videos for my main channel. I don't, I don't appreciate being bullied by YouTube staff that are trying to protect criminal activity, in my opinion, when it comes to government extortion and God knows what else. Right. That they're doing to the public. 
as the people continue to die. And the old people are left in diapers with no family members helping them to go to the bathroom. Right. The only people who were helping Uncle John go to the bathroom when he was in that temporary care ward before he was medically kidnapped were the kids and myself. Marcane helped Uncle John go to the bathroom. Tisha helped Uncle John go to the bathroom. Shemay helped Uncle John go to the bathroom. I helped Uncle John go to the bathroom. And my girls were helping other people in that facility to go to the bathroom. While the workers just sat there and complained that there wasn't enough workers and therefore they just... Pfft, it is what it is. They were more concerned about themselves than they were about the elderly. Serious. And look what we got today. A whole bunch of old people under lock and key with nobody helping them to go to the bathroom. Right? All laying up in diapers. With Rumerville. Right? Nothing but fucking Rumerville. Okay? You don't think I don't think about that every day? I do. Trust me. I'm trying to figure out a way to help and I just quite haven't figured it out yet. Right, so that, that, that's why I'm not going to be YouTube's bitch. Because they would like for me just to go out and do stupid videos, talk about stupid shit. Right, pretend like nothing's going on. Just so they can keep doing what they're doing and never be held to account for the shit that they fucking put out there. Right. That's just how I feel about it. Right. They're enablers to the destruction of the human race. By censoring and extorting their content creators right so I don't know when I'll outgrow that opinion because obviously that's an opinion right can you even see me I'm moving closer you can see that it's because I'm sewing right that's what's happening here I'm keeping Amari company right Right, Amari? Nana keeping you company? You sitting there like a little king? Huh? Are you a little man? Huh? You sure are. Yeah. Yeah. One day, I don't know, he may require hoists. <laughs> Depends. I don't know. I just so feel like his back was broken, people. I asked doctors about it. They never really answer me. When I ask them, like, was his back broken? Like, why did, why do I feel like his back? Like, why why do I think his back was broken? And they don't they don't really answer me. They just kind of ignore it. Right. They say it's the brain damage up in this part of the brain that makes him so that he can't stand. He can kick his legs, but he can't, he can't really, I don't know, they're just gummy, floppy, but he's getting stronger, and he's been pulling himself up more, and sitting up, when he's on the couch, and those kind of things, yeah, so, there's parts of his body that he can use, and then there's just other parts that he can't. So as he gets older, I don't know, you know, more than anything is, and for Mari is that after I'm gone, or if I can't look after him anymore because I just get too old and feeble, who knows, I don't know which one's going to come first. I don't know if I'm going to get too old and feeble, or if I'm just not going to make it, right, because... Life is hard, and there is no guarantee with life in terms of, I'm going to live until I'm 92, so I can be tortured to death by my government. Mm -hmm. That's my plan. Made to sit in a diaper for the rest of my 92 years plus, as my government does experiments on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. But sooner or later, something's going to change, right? So. Oh. I try not to worry about it. So we're almost near the end. I just got to go down this way and then this little bit. 
and uh, then I get up on the top bunk, take everything down. I'm going to run some plastic up on the ceiling because he's getting close to this stucco shit that, that technically is not safe. So I figure I'm going to cut some plastic sheeting and try and just tack it up to keep anything from falling on him because, you know, don't want that happening, right? And uh, get this up. Then I got a little blanket that I'm going to put over it. Then I'm going to double sheet it. And then, yeah, I'll good, fix up these rails. I have rails I have to fix up so he doesn't roll off. Then I'm going to vacuum. Well, no, then I'm, well, at some point before I do all that, I'm going to give Amari a bath. Right. And then I'll get the mattress up. See, he's quiet, so, I, you know, it doesn't matter where he sits. I mean, he could be in the living room sitting on his, he has two chairs in the living room right now, right? I, sw I switch him around between the two. And uh, so whether he's sitting in there on one of those chairs or whether he's sitting on the couch or whether he's sitting on that, doesn't matter. So he's quiet. So that buys me a bit of time to do what I'm doing right now. Right? And then uh, as soon as I'm ready to take him off, I'm going to give him a bath. Yeah, and then he's going in the living room. And get this mattress up. And then once this mattress is up and the rails are secure, then I'm going to get to my desk here, right here. And I'm going to try and hook up this Windows 7 computer. It's very small to see how it works because that's the one I'm going to probably use to make web pages with at least that maybe try and like the good old days make some animations or something because I have those types of programs not that my brain can absorb all that information again because then you're dealing with vectors and layers and you know, my son is good with vectors and layers I'm not good with vectors and layers but coming in fresh again so Maybe if I take down notes, maybe I can come up and make some funny little gifts or something. That would be fun, but, you know, life is too serious to be thinking about making gifts. All right. I mean, all these things I want to do, but whether I actually do them or not remains to be seen. If I work on that stuff, I feel like I'm being in denial in terms of what serious issues are in the community. But, you know, the more you fight on behalf of the community with around serious issues the more people attack you because they want to keep the status quo in terms of poverty pimping right and uh, you know manufactured poverty or keeping those old people in diapers so it's easy on the workers right in terms of walking the elderly to the toilet and actually helping them on and off it and what not you know, it takes effort to do that right but it's better for them all the way around just like this is better for Amari right so if I had to say I had any concerns after I'm gone or I can't look after him anymore because I get too old and feeble one of my biggest and main concerns would be to make sure that whoever's watching him right you know, continues to do this because it's important versus trying to take the easy route out. All right. So, because it's just better for him. Better for him emotionally, better for him physically, right? Just the whole nine yards. It's just better for him. Not for me, because I have to lift him up and carry him around. And he's getting heavier. <clears throat> but it's better for me just knowing, you know, with that satisfaction that that's the best for him. That's where it's better for me. Just knowing, having the satisfaction, knowing that this is the best for him. 
So maybe by documenting it like this on this channel, you know, it reinforces, right? The idea that this is the way it needs to be done for him. You know, it's not like his mother is around. Right. Tisha prefers the, the, the small, the, like the children's, the baby toilets. Right? And I'm like, Tisha, he's too big for that now. You just need to uh, think about this one. Right? But because it can take so long sometimes, that's that's the issue. Right? Sometimes he'll sit on it for a long time. And then you have to put him back on it either later on or the next day. Right? And if nothing's happened by then, then maybe you use a bit of a suppository and then you try it again. It's a hit and miss. But he knows what it's... You know what it's about, and that's 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 the thing. He knows, and when he accomplishes his goal, oh boy, he's so proud of himself. So 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 proud of himself. All right. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off now that I've been rambling on for a good what, 25 minutes, 30 minutes over, whatever. Just showing you that I'm okay <laughs> for the ones that care. I'm sorry I can't do YouTube videos right now, like the good old days. I don't know what it's going to take for me to get over that. Because, like I say, I'm my priority is just worried for the public, worried for my own family. Right? I'm a justice seeker. I'm not one to sit up there and cover up crimes, right? I ain't making no money off of bullshit, right? I have nothing to lose by telling the truth other than being attacked or people trying to silence me, right? Before they silence me, I figure I'll just come back with harder game in terms of try and build up the website, try and get more people to support the nonprofit. I don't know. Maybe I'm in denial. Who knows? You don't know these things until you try. Right? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so. I keep pretty busy. I do dishes every day almost. Oh my god, so many dishes, people. Oh, laundry, like the good old days. Toys. Toys is a big one. For my age, I have a lot, a lot of toys. So many toys to count, you can't even count them all. And then, of course, when Alea May gets into them, you know, scatter them all over the place. You know, which is fine, because she's a little girl, and that's what it's about. But, you know, Andre likes to scatter stuff. <laughs> Just doing typical mum stuff every day. It's every day. Right. Yeah. So if you want to see that recent video that I just did in regards to the government of British Columbia, Canada, with 19 deaths in one day, even though the live stream pre-recorded live stream, restream, came up fucking six to, well, sorry, yeah, six, six to 
13 days in the past behind something like 16 videos. It's on BitChute. Right? Doesn't have that many views, but that's what YouTube was trying to accomplish. So they got to accomplish their goal. Right? So why would I want to get up there and on my main channel and talk about anything at this point in life? I don't. Instead I fixed up my computers. Right. I think before I sit down and type out what I'm going to write to the CEO. I've decided that I'm just going to get some paper and I'm going to write by hand because the computer screens are really hard on my eyes, right? And if I start doing web pages and stuff like that, oh boy, that's really hard on my eyes. Really, 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 really hard on my eyes. So I have to find a balance in there, right? So I'm thinking, okay, well maybe just do your rough draft and writing you know and then type it out in terms of what you want to say I have to put shit on flash drives right I have to go into my old photocopies of back in the day when Uncle John was medically kidnapped and the gang stalking got real 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 bad with GMOI and the whole nine yards right and show Show that CEO what his website is really all about. All right? In terms of somebody using their service and being mistreated. All right? Am I being oversensitive? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Maybe I am. I don't know. But I think people have a right to stand up and fight for the elderly. I think people have a right to stand up and fight for their communities. Mm. I think people have a right to stand up for their families. I think people have a right to stand up for themselves. So. Being that that's not what YouTube is really about. It just It makes it hard to participate on it. Right? You know, with their psychological warfare. You know, put you on the cross, treat you like a criminal. That's why I haven't been doing videos, if you're wondering. You can always send me an email through my Gmail or write me a comment on my last video up on YouTube. I check that all the time. Right? I can't get... If you make a comment on bit shoot videos, I get no way of knowing that somebody commented on them. There's no notification to let me know somebody commented on those videos. The only way I can tell is if I actually go into the actual video itself. Which I can't imagine if I had a whole lot of videos up on there. Right? What that would be like. Could you imagine if I had 2,000 videos up on BitChute? And I had to go through the video from video to from video. Just to be able to get a notification that somebody made a comment on a video. So that I could answer back. That's, that's crazy. So I don't know. I don't even know what's going to happen with that. Right? I, I just don't know. So I think YouTube was successful at silencing me, basically. Right? You know, I think mission accomplished. I You know, whoever did that, uh -uh. right? They probably feeling pretty, pretty proud of themselves. You know, in light of everything that I've been talking about right now. So, come spring, am I going to be out in the yard doing yard videos? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's why I'm trying to focus on other things, because I don't know what to do. Outside of right to CEO, 
and let him know what I think. And show him and his fucking lawyers what they do to the public. Oh, speaking of bit shoot, I came across uh, I came across this video last night. No, it did make me think of YouTube, and I could understand okay, why they do some of the things that they do. Because people can really get obnoxious about shit, okay, and this this person who made this video was, uh, I don't know, was kind of racist. And in order to prove his racism against other minority groups, uh, I wouldn't call them minority groups, other ethnic groups, right? He, he, he added in videos where, you know, people were doing things that were, I guess, out of the norm. Or illegal in some sense, you know, like people having sex with a dog, <laughs> or eating eating rats and mice and shit like that. And one person s killed a cat and just stupid shit. And I'm like, oh my god. And I wish I didn't see it now. <laughs> I've got those images in my head. <laughs> And then, of course, I thought about YouTube, right, <laughs> trying to curb some of that stuff. But then, on the other hand, you know, it's, it's reality, all right, it's reality. It, what it did, did is it reminded me of how crazy people can really get. Right? How, how mean and evil they can really be. Right? Right across the board in terms of ethnicity. However, he didn't put no white people doing crazy shit. He was trying to, you know, disparage other mm -hmm. ethnic groups. But I know for a fact that white people are pretty fucked up too. Right, uh, at least in my part of town, uh, you know, they're not off the hook by any means. Uh, There's a lot of Lucy's and Doctor Ghouls running around in hospital settings, capitalizing off of the death in this province. Well, mm. our RCMP and those types of individuals, which is all connected to the public mm -hmm. union sector in the province of British Columbia, Canada, capitalize through their laundering of money through illegal organ harvesting. So I'm not playing no favoritisms on nobody. Because I know what the hell is going on. Because I've been through it. <laughs> but... I don't put out videos like that, people. That's not what my videos are about. Showing shit that's, you know, something that you would want to avoid. Because it serves no purpose other than to remind you that there's some sick people out there that need to go to jail and stay in jail. Right? But outside of that, you know, I show documentation. And I leave the debate open. And YouTube doesn't have a right to deny me that. Outside of is trying to hide the truth. So that they can keep those old people in their diapers. Locked away like a dirty secret. So nobody can be held to account. As the rest of society falls apart at the seams. When you're... At that level in your brain, in terms of consciousness, awareness, 
last thing you want to do is get up on YouTube and make it look like everything is okay when it's not. So, you can see that sewing is daunting. It takes time. Right? It can be quite a lone, lonely affair in terms of you just sit and sew. Right? You have a lot of time to think. A lot of time to think. Right. Probably why I started the nonprofit. Because I used to sew and think. Sew and think. Sew and think. Sew and think. Then I took my thinking. And I applied it to something that I still have. But I need to build it up. Which requires a lot of thinking. A lot of effort and other areas. Like website whatever, whatever it is that I'm going to do, and uh, I have to change the light bulb up there, it's so dark, with my eyes going on me, what I'm noticing is things are just getting darker, because I'm getting dark patches, right, you have your eyeball, right, and getting dark patches, uh, can you see, right, it's creeping, right, I freak out my eye specialist <laughs> when I go and they check my eyes. But for all I know, the way the world works, they could have did something to my eyes just to make it worse because my eyes didn't start getting worse until I started seeing eye specialists. That's my opinion. Yeah. That's when my eyes just started getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And that's why I normally avoid them. Unless I absolutely have to go. And of course, each and every time I go, they always remind me that my eyesight's getting worse as if I don't know that. And when I start working on web pages, trust me, I'm going to have buggy eyes. But I'd rather work on web pages and have some hope than continue to do videos and being chopped off at the knees with no hope. Outside of what I'm doing right now in terms of I'm trying to break up the subject matter. between different channels so I don't jeopardize that main channel right all those years of history regarding the nonprofit because that's why I did it if it wouldn't have been for the nonprofit I would never have done it nope I would never have done it so yeah if you're going to do any kind of sewing, be prepared to do a lot of thinking. Alright. I don't know what you're going to think about. I don't know what you're going to think about. But, anyway. What are you doing? Huh? What you doing? Are you done almost? And it's almost done this side. And then I just got that little piece over there. And that's it. I have to move this mattress after the fact. And then we're done. And then Nana will give you a bath. And you'll go in the living room. He doesn't like vacuum cleaners. He's, he, he doesn't like them. <laughs> and so I have to take them out. Take them out before I start vacuuming and doing stuff like that. Right. Uh -huh. And then once this is out, I don't have a lot of space in here, but it is what it is. I'm thinking to try and get up into my attic to see if I can put some of these bins. Like I got, I got like when Andre was little. 
all these uh, Thomas tracks, like tons, tons and tons, like a whole bin full of Thomas tracks, all kinds of stuff, right? So I'm going to bring in my stepladder, and I'm going to see if I can get up into my attic and uh, put them up in there. Because, you know, this house is small, eh? So I can have his, uh, and his wheelchair is coming up, but it will be like right here, right? <laughs> Whereas if I can maybe get those bins up, up into the attic, I don't know, I have to look. Right? Then I can move that over there, and then I can have it, you know, the wheelchair with, uh, I don't know. Are you done? Almost ready? Yeah? You're almost done? You ready to come out for a while? Let Nana just finish this one little piece, and then I'm, I, I will take you off. And what do you got? Here. Winding not good. There you go. What you got? What is all that stuff? Hmm? What is it? What is it? What is that stuff? Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -uh. You want out? You're done? You want off now? Off? Off? Mm -hmm. Nana's got 60 more inches to sew, and then I'll, I'll be done with this part. Then I can lift this mattress up. And then we'll... And then I'll go run the bath water and give you a bath. All right. And then we'll put you in the living room for a little while. And get this other little piece done. And then that will be it. We'll get it up off the floor. Vacuum. Get this all cleared out. Get that other computer set up. All right. Uncle Mark Hank can bring up the wheelchair in the next couple of days. And then you'll be seeing him sitting in his wheelchair. All right. I'll bring my grandkids with me as I do this stuff. All right. It's my life. It's part of my life. Yeah, you're an important, important person, Amari. Yeah, an important person. So obviously not a very exciting video. It's hard to get passionate when you're sewing. <laughs> you know? Because you're thinking. Yeah. See, Nana's going into that thinking mode. Yeah. Almost done. Almost done. I'm at the end now. Just going to tie this off. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys, and I'm turning off the camera. That'll be it. Not that it's anything fancy to look at. go. See how good he is? What a good boy. You want that? Huh? You being such a good boy. Yeah. Such a good boy. Uh-oh, it dropped. It dropped. Mm-hmm. See, you got to have a lot of patience. 
Yeah. You really don't have a life when you have a disabled child. I've said that before. Your life becomes their life. Okay. So. Oh, hold on. I don't know how long that was. It doesn't tell me. You see? Oh, let me stand up. Yeah. See? Almost done. So now I just got to do this end. Just a little piece like that on the other side. And I'm, I'm good. I'm done. Okay, tell us right now. <laughs> what you doing? You swimming? Yeah, come on. Ex exercise your legs. Barra's half dead now. Huh? Barra's half dead. Yeah, we know. That's okay. We'll plug it in. Come on. Here for the float. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you're swimming, huh? You're swimming, huh? See? If I do this, he gets to exercise his legs, right? More vigorously, that is. And, uh... If he's in here by himself with just a little bit of water. And, <laughs> and he's, he hits the, the bathtub, right? I'm afraid he's going to bust his heel, just like if he was to do that on the floor. Right? So that's why I have him like this. So I can you know, hold him. Right? Now I'll probably put a bit more water in this. Another maybe three or four more inches to give him that floating effect, right? And let him float back. So, go ahead, get your legs. That's me. Right, now he's kicking, All right? Yeah, no. that's much better, huh? I'm afraid the bar is... Huh? The...